blew the game. Plain and simple. You can't blame anybody. You can't blame McKinney hitting. You can't blame the defense. You can't blame anybody, but you can blame me. You guys can write that. Simple fact, I didn't do my job. What's the frustration level right now for this ball club? I think frustration level, there is no frustration level for this ball club. Me, for not doing my job, is probably really high right now. This ball club did their job. 24 guys on this team did their job. How'd you feel about your outing tonight? It's good. It's good. It's working for I had all four of my pitches working, throwing them off for strikes, the head and counts. Um, made them swing the bat, put in play. My defense did a great job behind me. And, you know, these last two, the two previous for that, not so much. These last two, I feel like I'm back to doing what I, I had been doing at the beginning of the year. When you get those ground ball double plays, is that one of your number one indicators of success? Uh, yeah, well, anytime I'm getting ground balls, when I'm getting fly balls and I know it's, it's not sinking or, you know, I need to, yeah. to, to move back down in the zone, it's up a little bit. Uh, but, yeah. You know, getting ground balls is a good sign for me. It means the ball's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Is it kind of a, an unfortunate circumstance here that you're becoming really experienced at balancing a great outing with not coming out on the other end with a W? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. But, uh, you know, we just got to keep working. As I've said all along, I'm, I'm going to keep doing my part and coming prepared and, and uh, hopefully you can turn around. Is this the real mental test of the game? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think. Anytime you got to deal with failure, uh, you know, quite a bit of failure, it, it does. It tests a lot of people. You know, you start to question certain things about yourself, about it as a player, as a team. So um, it's good. Everybody, um, you know, through the frustration and, and, and somewhat depression, I guess, in some of it, um, everybody's keeping their head up and everybody's coming back and preparing. And that's all you can really ask from, from, from the guys and yourself. Just before we stepped up, you were talking with JB a little bit about attacking Pujols. Uh, what's that challenge like as a pitcher to face arguably one of the great hitters of all time? You, you got to make good pitches. Yeah. You know, I mean, even even the one pitch wasn't a bad pitch, and he's strong enough to hit it out of the ballpark. Uh, but you do. You got to you got to stick with your game plan. You got to pitch both sides of the plate and, and change speeds. And, and and when guys are that good and see the ball that well as he does, uh, you just hope they get themselves out. You mentioned uh, frustration, mental test of the game. Is it, is it harder and harder each day to keep the head up as, as you come in? Is, is there a point? Is there a, a breaking point? Is any, any worry about that? Um, not for myself. Um, I've, I've dealt with things on and off the field uh, that I think have, have, have developed my character and, and perseverance. So uh, for myself, no, I've got, I've got my routine. I've got my plan of action to come and, and prepare and work. and. Sometimes you, you, you come out a winner, sometimes you come out a loser in this game. Having said that, is, is it a good time? It's a game. Is it a good time to kind of remind yourself? It's a game. Yeah. You know, can't, can't, can't get too upset about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, that's tough to say because this is our livelihood. You know, we, this is what you got to have success at to, to feed your family and, and things like that. Um, so, you know, it, it's the toughest part about it. Failure stinks, man, you know, in any parts of whatever you do, but especially in this game because everything's, you know, uh, ran off numbers and statistics.